there is a catch here. Because the word clearly says German silver, we dig in that there is silver in it. But in this option, though the word says German silver, the percentage of silver in German silver is nil. It's just a name. Then what is this German silver? German silver is an alloy of copper. There are various alloys. As I said earlier, when you prepare for your entrance examination, you have various probabilities. The alloys of copper. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Bronze is an alloy of copper, zinc and tin. Similarly, German silver is an alloy of copper, zinc and nickel. So like this, I would like you all to prepare a chart of all the alloys of iron, copper, aluminium. It will help you in your preparation. Therefore, the correct answer, the percentage of silver in German silver is 0%. It doesn't contain any silver at all. Which of this is used in making permanent magnets? As you learn the compositions of each of these, you will get to know the alloys are being used in various proportion for preparing various components. Let me discuss one by one. Invar steel is used in making pendulums. Alnico is used in making magnets. Magnalium it is an alloy of aluminium used in making aircraft body. Bronze, it is used in making statues. Hope you have understood. Magnalium is also used in making weighing balances. From this, I understand that. As you learn the alloys, as you learn their compositions, make a chart about their combinations and then uses it would definitely help you. The correct answer in this. Which of this is used in making permanent magnets? The right option is option B, Alnico. Option B. Dear students, in the next question, in Hall's process of electrolysis of fused alumina, creolite is added. Let us know what exactly this creolite is. Creolite is Na3AlF6. Creolite is also an ore of aluminium. The role of creolite comes in the last stage in the preparation of aluminium, extraction of aluminium basically. In the Hall's process of extraction of aluminium from alumina, creolite is added, fused with calcium fluoride. The role of creolite is, it lowers the melting temperature of alumina. It also enhances and increases the conductivity of alumina. Understanding that without creolite, Alumina requires a very, very high temperature. By adding creolite, we are doing two important processes. We reduce the melting temperature of alumina as well as we also enhance the conductivity of alumina. So let's read the options now. Increase the melting temperature of alumina. Decrease the melting point of alumina. Increase the conductivity does both B and C. So the right option is, as I said, the addition of creolite lowers the melting point of alumina and enhances the conductivity. Option B decreases the melting point of alumina is right, as well as option C increases the conductivity is also right. Therefore, my right option is option D. Both B and C are right. Moving 
on to the next question. In blast furnace, need to understand what is this blast furnace. Blast furnace is used for the extraction of iron. Blast furnace, the word itself says furnace has the ability to withstand high temperature. As we take the ore, mix it with limestone and then coke, the mixture we call it as charge. Charge is introduced into the blast furnace and when air is blown through tires, various reaction takes place at various zones at the respective temperatures. The zones are zone of reduction, zone of combustion, zone of slag formation. Very important these three are. Zone of reduction takes place at 500 to 800 Kelvin. Zone of slag formation at approximately around 1123 Kelvin. Zone of combustion, it reaches to the epic that is 1500 Kelvin. Understanding from my words, I hope you caught the answer. In blast furnace, the maximum temperature lies in zone of combustion which reaches 1500 Kelvin. Therefore, the right option for this question is zone of combustion option B. To have a simple recap, zone of combustion 900 to 1500 Kelvin, zone of reduction 500 to 800 Kelvin, zone of slag formation 1123 Kelvin. In the next question, which of the following is not concentrated by froth flotation process? Let's understand this is the methodology of concentration of the ore. There are various steps involved in concentration of the ore depending upon the nature of the impurity. The first is gravity separation, hydraulic washing, lavigation, all are one and the same. This methodology is employed if my impurities are lighter in nature. Froth flotation process is employed for sulphide ores. Underline my word. Froth flotation process is employed for sulphide ores. So since we are discussing about froth flotation, directly move on. I will give the chemical combinations of this. Copper pyrites, option A, CuFeS2. It is also read as charcoal pyrite, sulphide is there. Cinnabar, HGS, sulphide is there. Pyrolusite, MnO2, sulphide is not there. Zinc blend, ZNS, sulphide is there. From this now you would have understood before I tell the answer. In all the options A, B, C and D that we have discussed, C does not contain sulphur or sulphide, the chemical combination for pyrolusite MnO2, therefore this is not concentrated by froth flotation process. We will move on to the next question. In the previous question we were discussing about froth flotation process. From that the underlining statement that you have taken care is froth flotation process is employed for sulphide ores. But what is the principle that it involves? Let me discuss the principle. In froth flotation process, it is a method of removal of impurities where the rule is like this. Remember my five words, tank ore, oil, water, air. In a tank, you are taking the ore, you are mixing it with oil and then water and you are blowing air. Hope you have understood this logic. The ore is preferably wetted by oil while the impurities are wetted by water. This is a basic underlining statement in froth flotation process. 
the ore is preferably wetted by oil while the impurities are wetted by water. Therefore, as I read the options, difference in solubility of ore and gang particles, magnetic properties of gang and ore, preferential wetting of gang by oil, preferential wetting of ore by oil, the right option is option D, wetting of ore by oil is right. At the same time, wetting of the gang by water is also right. The option that matches is option D.